Hello YouTube world, my name is Nicholas Montez and you're watching my YouTube channel, Nicholas Montez. Okay, so you're probably wondering why I actually have my voice lowered down a little bit. It's basically because it is over like 3 o'clock in the morning where I am on January 17th. And uh, basically everyone that I know in this house is sleeping right now, so I gotta get my voice a little bit down. But, um, I want, and right after I'm done with this video, I'm gonna be going to bed. But, um, I want to get this review out so that way I can actually have less videos to do in the next couple of hours. Uh, I won't be posting on Martin Luther King Day, which is Monday. But, uh, today I wanted to talk about, right now I wanted to talk about the newest Netflix movie that they released this weekend. And the first movie I saw in 2021, Outside the Wire. So... When I was making my list of movies that will be coming on 2021, the films I'll be seeing, um, since this is what well, this was perfect, I felt like this was gonna be the perfect film to start off the year. Because you know, it's when I saw the premise for the film, when I because I was creating my list of all the movies I'm watching this year, it instantly um catched me because like an action film with with Anthony Mackie being an android, that sounds awesome and that could lead to some amazing action sequences and then of course it was it, it was it's a netflix original film so obviously it's the best type of film to watch um we'll we'll talk about it but um i wanted to review it earlier but it's radar so i had to watch it with my with parental guidance um so and my mom and my mom wanted to wait until for my dad to watch it too because he's sort of into these things. But the thing is, he never he didn't exactly watch it. He basically was just there. He basically fell asleep. It's what he does in movies. But that's just because he's tired. But without further ado, let's get into the review of the movie. Outside the Wire for me was really the first thing that that caught my attention was really just the action sequences. Um, now as it starts, like the first scene is really just more of a gun sequence. We'll talk about that stuff once we get into the bad because that's kind of one of my problems about the film. Spoiler alert to the bad side, but the action sequences when like. Anthony, Ma like when Leo's character, which is Anthony Mackie's character, when he is fighting the, the bad guys, it's it looks it, it's very cool. And then when he's still like chasing guys, it turns into a, a spy movie, which I love. Um, and even the even the gunfights that happen later in the film are actually really good because you have like robots blowing up, you have guns shooting at humans like it, it's very violent it's a very violent film also i felt like this movie had a nice um you know layer of comedy added to it and the way they did that is another thing i'm going to talk about that's good and that is that since this was film was radar one of the things that it's radar for is that it has um very violent it has very on bad language it has it multiple it uses the it uses multiple f-bombs in the movie and honestly when i first heard it i thought i thought they weren't going to use it that much but then they literally used the f-bomb in almost every sentence that they talked like almost every sentence and you know when they said it it kind of made it annoying but then it kind of made the characters tough so that's really the stuff I liked about the film. Yeah, I'm gonna be surprised about this. Um, anything else I liked? Oh, also, I kind of liked how this was sort of. A, I think this was like a fu this was like a futuristic film. They didn't explain that, but 
that's really all I liked about the film is the action sequences, the comedy, and really just the way it, it kind of feels like a future a film set in the future. So that's kind of cool. So let's get into the next category of my review. Alright, so now we are in the bad category of this film. And for me, this has a, a couple more stuff to say than the good. First off, I just want to say that the tone in this movie was very off. So as in the first scene, it was a really gun, it was basically a war gun fight. And you don't really know what's happening. And like the way the story goes, it, it, the story is trash. You don't really understand it. You know, as you go through the movie with the characters, it's, you get that. But the story that we, we were told at the beginning does not make any sense. Because like the, you see soldiers shooting at something, but you don't really know what it is. And like, it, it doesn't work. Like what, we don't even know what the story is. We know it's a war story because it's, it takes place with war characters. It takes place with world, with government, with military soldiers. But it, the story and the tone was just all over the place. Well, actually, I, w I would say more of the story was, was all over the place. And the tone, well, it doesn't really have, the tone was all over the place. I would, I would go, both the story and the tone was not very good. And also, I thought the character, I also didn't really like the characters in this film. I mean, I don't, there's not really any specific characters I cared for. Other than our two main leads, Anthony Mackie and I forgot the other guy's name. The guy that played um what's his name? I literally just watched this movie a couple hours ago and I literally forgot the, his name. The guy's name. Whatever. Um Also, one more problem is that they just use the F bombs way too much. I don't really know why the you I don't I don't know why the director thought that this was a great idea to put so many f bombs in this film. I don't know why they did that. It was just really weird the way they put all of those f bombs. And like the way the story and also where when the story goes somewhere, especially when Leo becomes like the bad guy, that's when the story gets. That's when the story gets confusing. Like, that's when the story gets very confusing. And this is just one of the most difficult films to process. Because you think it would be an awesome film because you have Anthony Mackie, who, who is actually, a, who is perfect for a spy film. It, it's, a, it's a future world film. And, and it's an action film and it's a Netflix film. But it doesn't work. Also, they don't really they don't really say stuff like when they have those like little line cards at, at the beginning. You can I feel, you can kind of tell that it is a futuristic film because it because films like this don't, don't exactly other films like this other films that are not like this they don't do those lines thing those words on the screen. With like with like busted up technology they don't do that so that's really all my problems for the film there, i feel like I, I have more problems with the film than i do with positive things because i really have only positive things to say about it i only, only had three positive things to say about it so that's my thoughts on outside the wire i will be um like before we get into my announcements for after my after my things here is my uh, my my letter score and my my out of ten score. All right, so that is it for my review for Outside the Wire. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, 
today I will be on um, tomorrow on um, a couple hours later I will be reviewing the movies Lockdown and The Dig because they are movies that are free on streaming services that I have and uh, yeah and um, I'll see you guys in a couple of hours because this video is being taken place January 17th and I was technically supposed to post my outside the wire review January 16th but that didn't end out well because we started the movie late so but it was fine at least I get these at least I get the videos done it doesn't really matter about the dates so see you guys in a couple of hours when I review the lock when I review lockdown and the dig